Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show! Today we are back to talk about Ultimate Legends and those three uh, big men that did come out today and how they could potentially help upgrade your team. First man we're going to be looking at here is Leroy Glover. If he would have came out a while ago, he would have been one of the best defensive tackles in the game. Now that we do have a page and a mean Joe Green out, his speed is just almost too much to uh, kind of match up with. The strength, if you just need someone in the middle to play nose tackle, might be a little bit better than an Allen Page for you. Green and Page do play a little bit better in a 4-3 but um, Mean Joe Green fits that strength and does even have a little bit more speed there. So uh, Green, who came out quite a while ago, I feel this is, probably is a better fit for most teams still. Uh, for Saints and Rams fans, I'm sure you're very, very excited to have another man to clog up the middle. But besides that, this is a little bit of a dud. At the left tackle position, we got a giant and one of the best men at that position. Um, again, all these Ultimate Legends are stock gold 99s, so they will be able to fit on your team and help you get to that 99 overall immediately um, without any upgrades to their chemistries at all. But as you can see, Ogden doesn't need a whole lot anyway. If you help out his finesse a little bit, he'll be perfect pretty much from the get-go. Um, his run block could be a little bit as well, but if you have had his card throughout the year, you're just waiting for this power-up, and that is huge. If you have a shorter quarterback, it, it, he is not the best for you as he is six foot nine and um, can absolutely devastate people out there in the run game, and if you have a taller quarterback, block magnificently for you but you just have to be concerned about hitting him in the back of the head with football especially with gunslinger the third man and the limited time is aeneas williams really you see these stats and they are not perfect across the board but if you are powering him up which i would definitely advise since he is limited and i'll get back into that here in just a minute um his speed is a little bit on the low side but if you do power him up have sprinter and coach men that'll get to 99 also if you toss um lockdown on him you will get his man and zone all the way up as well so when you get those all up to 99 and then start comparing him to those other men kind of at those positions, you kind of start to see how he stacks up very well, has the strength. He is 5'11", so that is a little bit of a knock on him. But seeing that 76 tackle, Daryl Green is actually way up there with that but he's better at everyone except for daryl at tackling so that's a huge boost he is, does have that 96 jumping so he's a little bit better with those jump balls and he is um tremendous at getting after the quarterback the 66 block shed is very solid um, as wide receivers are continuing to block better and better his pursuit is absolutely top notch really sad to see what P uh, Patrick Peterson's pursuit um, is at. That's really, really low. Um, but besides that, yeah, you just see um, all the rest of his stats way, way up there. Um, did want to look at his ability to blitz the quarterback. Pretty good for a cornerback. Better than everyone else that would be on my team. So that is a little bit of a boost as well. Should be able to take on a lot of the halfbacks that are out, especially if they're a little bit larger, not a Franco Harris uh, use check type. If you do have um, them going up against them, definitely would advise more of a Sean Taylor. But that's what we have for the Ultimate Le Legends. Excuse me. Did want to talk about um, a little bit of the training and how low that has continued to uh, become. As you see, Aeneas Williams, um, or as you will see here in just one second, Aeneas Williams is going for over 500000 because he is that limited. But if you are going to go out and purchase um, training and then powering, up, powering him up next week, that is significantly less in price. And as I noticed as I was just going through these quickly, um, the 98s and the 99s are very, very low. Um, as you see, Rod Woodson for 166. That is a little bit over the three mark, but 
as we look at some of the different positions for Ultimate Legends, um, we can look at some of the 98s and that Deacon Jones is going for under three at this point. So that is definitely the best way to go out and get it. I would definitely get it in bulk. That is definitely the best way if you're buying around the 80 mark with uh, power-up passes and not everyone using training for those. Um, that is um, something that can be significantly devastating to your coin stack if you're just trying to buy trading. I would definitely go up to the 98, 99 overall. Around the 100,000 mark, 498 seems to be solid. It is scary because I remember spending like 200,000 on a 90 overall at like the beginning of the year to get training. So it is scary how that has really changed, but it does make sense how more valuable players have brought that market down. It really does fit. Uh, but definitely go out and um, get Aeneas Williams power-ups and get him ready for next weekend and then use some of this training to get him powered up because he will be tremendous and he's going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the game until the end of the year because we only have a short time left and Man 20 will be on our doorstep. But that is all we have for today. I wish you all the best and take care. Thank you for checking into the Irish and Rantain channel. Keep coming back for more Madden knowledge. That will be consistent videos up every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish and Rantain. Take care and much love, everybody.